Hi everyone, this video is going to be a swatch, including lip swatches and first impressions of the Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipstick line. It is a brand new formula and launch of a whopping 25 shades. I did get several requests from viewers who left comments asking me to review this line and swatch them. So thank you to those who put in those requests. If you want to see the colors that I have here swatched, both on my arm and video clips of them applied to my lips and get my impressions of what the formula is like, then this is the video for you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. And if you didn't check out my latest video, I believe that was my video on Bite Beauty's new micellar water and some thoughts that I had for people who may be considering buying that foundation. I'll link that in the upper right hand corner for you to see. All right, let's get looking at Revlon's new Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipsticks. So first thing is, this is not the same as Revlon's very classic long-standing line of Super Lustrous Lipsticks. At first, I was a little confused because I thought, oh, they've just repackaged or revamped the look of the Super Lustrous Lipsticks. That's not the case. That line still exists. This is a new line called the Glass Shine Lipsticks under the Super Lustrous line. The place where I found most of the shades that you'll see in this video was through Amazon. They seem to have the widest range of colors currently available to actually purchase. I did purchase, I think, one or two shades from Rite Aid but these don't seem to be quite widely available yet online to buy. Of course, they are going to become available, hopefully in stores at your local drugstore. If you wanna purchase them now and not wait, I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find them to purchase them online, as well as a link to Rakuten's cashback system so that if you are spending your money online, at least you can get some cash back. So what is this new formula? Revlon says, love glossy lips, introducing your new BFF. This addictively fun lipstick offers incredible glassy shine and brilliant color that instantly melts wherever you swipe it. Your lips get the full on glass treatment thanks to high shine emollients that are pros at reflecting light. They drench your lips in the cushiony moisture of a lip balm and the kind of dimensional shine you'd get from the best lip gloss. In addition, it's supposed to give you luscious, vibrant color that doesn't feather or bleed. It's supposed to have a buttery feel that makes your lips feel super smooth. It contains low melting point waxes. It is made with hyaluronic acid, aloe, and rose quartz to deliver that hydration and a smooth, plump look. As I said, this line has 25 shades. I have here before you 17 of those shades. There are a bunch that just are either not available yet or sold out. And I tried to wait a while to see if they would come back in stock, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anytime soon. So hopefully you'll at the very least get a very good sampling of the color range and an idea of whether this formula is something that you would like to experience and purchase from. On the Amazon website, and it looks like at most of the places, this is retailing for $9.99. And for the price, you are getting 0.8 ounces of product. Oh, actually, these are currently available, it looks like, on Ulta's website also, which I didn't realize before filming this video. They're currently on sale for $6.99. That sale probably only lasts a few more days from shooting this video. So I will put that link in the description box to make sure that you get the best price. Once the sale is over, it will then retail on Ulta's website for $9.99. When I look at the ingredients list, I do see that aloe in there as well as the hyaluronic acid. The second to last ingredients is fragrance, so just beware of that. There isn't a ton of it because it is at the ingredient list, but it is present. When you smell the tubes of the lipstick, you can detect a scent, but it admittedly is pretty light. And to me, it smells maybe a little bit caramelly. Let me know what you think if you have any of these. So here is what the packaging looks like. You get on the outer side, it's a actually a clear tube, but on the inside, it's a black tube. Um, and then a gold accent at the top. It's made of plastic. Snaps open like this. You can see it's a little dirty there. That uh, the balmy texture is creating that messiness in a lot of the tubes. The inner tube is also reflective gold. Standard twist up lipstick. Now, when you get this, each tube comes with this sticker that's wrapped around it. 
and I'll insert a clip here of me removing one of them. It was such a pain to remove all 17 of these. Now, I do appreciate this kind of uh, packaging, I guess you would call it, because this makes it really annoying for someone in the store to open the lipstick up and swatch it or apply it, which is just a terrible thing for people to do. But it is a pain when you obviously have to do it on 17 of them. I think it took me well over 20 minutes to even just get these lipstick tubes open. And another thing is that taking out that sticky tube leaves behind a residue on the packaging. Again, just, just a pain to remove. So here's shade two, Beaming Strawberry. Shade three is Glossed Up Rose. Four is Cherries in the Snow. Five is Fire and Ice. Six is Sparkling Honey. Seven is Glazed Mauve. Eight is Rum Raisin. Nine is Toasting Glasses. Ten is Chocolate Luster. Eleven is Glistening Purple. Twelve is Black Cherry. 16, Glassy Pink. 17, Love is On. 20 is Nude Illuminator. 23 is Glaring Red. 24 is Shine Stealer. And 25 is Glass Ruby. So we'll start by swatching Beaming Strawberry, which is a light yellow-based pink. Before I keep swatching, I just want to show you something that's happening when I'm twisting down the bullets back here. You can see that there's product kind of getting scraped off of the side. So they're just a little messy. It's not happening on all of them, but it is happening on some of them. Next shade is Glossed Up Rose. Is a slightly deeper, more rose-toned pink. Next is Cherries in the Snow. And this is a magenta pink. Next is Fire and Ice, which is a bright coral. So there's a nice balance between a pink and an orange coral. It's sparkling Honey, which is a medium kind of gray based nude. Next is Glazed Mauve. It's an interesting name. I would say this is definitely a mauve. It's um, kind of like a dusty mauve shade. And another thing that I'm noticing similar to those other L'Oreal lipsticks that I reviewed a few videos ago See on the right side is a new tube, has not been swatched yet. On the left is a swatched tube. So you can see those, you know, emollient and waxy, oily ingredients coming out once you're using the product. Rum Raisin. This is a medium mauve nude, has less purple than the prior shade. Next is Toasting Glasses. This is another gray-based shade. Kind of like a grayish color. But of course it also has a little bit of pink in there too. And then Chocolate Luster. I would say also slightly gray toned, but more on the around side. Deeper nude shade. Okay, so, so far here are the first nine shades. All of them have a super glossy, wet finish to them. And you can see that the color is kind of semi-translucent. Each of them does have good color, just that not just sitting opaque on the 
surface of the skin. Let's do a swipe test before I remove these. Yeah, they have no resistance to them at all. And they feel very um, moist. Sorry, some people hate that word, but that's the way they feel in texture. Don't see any real staining on the lips. Maybe this, I think that was the more magenta shade there. Maybe it was the coral shade. But for the most part, no strong staining. Here is glistening purple. Another gray toned lavender shade, like a deep gray lavender. Black cherry. And this one is more of a deep berry shade, like a boysenberry color. Glassy pink. It's not really much of a pink. This is, I would say, a coral shade. It is like a yellow based, pink based coral. Love is on. Ooh, and this is more of a magenta pink color. I'm going to interrupt here because I noticed that in a couple of the tubes of these shades, there is shimmer, whereas most of them don't have shimmer. And Love is On, the one I just swatched, was an example of one of the tubes where you could see shimmer in there. But the thing is, is they have such a high gloss sheen once they're applied that you can't actually see the shimmer that's in there. All you see is the gloss finish. Next is Nude Illuminator. Ooh. And this one is a lighter, very nudey pink shade. Glaring Red is more of an orange color. Soft orange. Shine Stealer is a soft red. And finally, Glassy Ruby, which is a deeper berry toned red. This part of the swatch is bothering me, so I'm going to remove it. All right, there are your final, what is this, eight shades. Get that same kind of semi-translucent color and super high, wet looking shine to the finish. And tell me, can you see glitter in any of these shades? Because at least one of them has them. Let's see if any of these leave behind a stain. Yeah, some of them might leave behind a lighter wash of color. Those last few. I'm going to share my thoughts with you after having applied all of the 17 shades to my lips and worn them for a little while. My first impression is these are super nourishing lip products. I think the term lipstick is probably not what you would th expect or think of. I think these are more balms than they are lipsticks. They do impart a good amount of color albeit translucent, and that's the part of it that kind of makes it a lipstick. But beyond it being in a lipstick tube and looking maybe at first appearance like lipstick, I think this really is more like a balm or even something approaching a lip mask. You get that very glossy, glass-like shine as is claimed, and they are super easy to apply. They just absolutely glide over the lips without any sort of resistance. Most of the shades did apply pretty smoothly, on some of the, I would say, brighter and deeper shades, I noticed that I had to work them across the lips a little while longer and layer it and make sure that I blended out any patchy spots. And those shades on me were Glassy Pink, Love is On, Glaring Red, Cherries in the Snow, Fire and Ice, and Glassy Ruby. I actually wasn't able to pick up any scent when I was applying these or wearing these. And while I agree with Revlon saying that these don't necessarily feather or bleed, they aren't going to stick in place. 
So if you do any sort of eating or drinking, I wouldn't expect the color to stay within the borders that you've applied it. The formula is very moisturizing and hydrating. And at the end of the day, I think if you're someone looking for something that's more of a traditional lipstick or even a quote unquote hydrating lipstick, this probably isn't going to be what you're looking for or expecting. But if you want something that is very moisturizing, hydrating, nourishing on the lips and actually feels and functions more like a balm than a traditional lipstick, but still gives you a good flush of color, then this is the perfect formula for that. I enjoyed wearing these very much because they feel so nice on the lips, but I'm not gonna get that color payoff or layer of pigmentation that I would with a more traditional lip product. My biggest issue with this product is not with the formula itself, it's with the packaging. I think that because the formula is so balmy and melty, that they didn't create the proper packaging to make sure that it isn't getting all over the place, isn't getting scraped off in the tube when you're twisting it up and down, things like that. So those are my thoughts on Revlon's new Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipsticks. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, which shade or shades did you like most from the swatches, and of course any other thoughts you'd like to share. I hope the video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up if you have a chance. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.